previously on Voice of Art. This is our home. This is our place. And we're taking it back. There's an octopus face guy. I don't know if you see him around. I'm always trying to push it in new and different directions to challenge myself. It's going to be a giant, beautiful art installation that the city fucking needs. This is worth it if we affect anybody. <laughs> We're on the fourth story right now. We're trying to figure out how to get to the third story where there's some blank space. Apparently the blank space is there because no one can get there. So there's no natural way to climb down this ledge. Um, so we're going to try to find a 30-foot ladder and all this construction gear down at the bottom of the warehouse and borrow it for a second to get down the ledge and back up. I almost gave up. I was on my way out and I saw a bunch of construction trucks and I randomly found a 30 foot ladder and it was perfect, but it was so much effort trying to get it up to that, that roof. It, it wouldn't fit up the, the stairwells. I had to essentially make an entire new way onto the roof and punch open this trap door that, that no one's ever gone through since the, the place was still in operation back in the day almost died trying to climb up it. Uh, stood on some pipe that was almost almost broke off. And it was so hard getting up through that trap door that there was just no way I could get back down it. So I had to kind of fish the ladder out and, and pull it up and use it to climb up to a higher level of the roof so that I could climb back down through another hole and get out of the building that way. And it was just such a challenge and everything that could have gone wrong just went wrong and I still pulled it off. Really like the way it looked. You can see it from the freeway, and it's a spot that I know is gonna run for a decade. We didn't come up with a name for this thing. Oh, what is it? Oh, well, we should call it <laughs> Oprah Rich. Oprah Ball. Oprah Rich. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah, Oprah time. We're out the city of Paris. The city is ours. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> so the party is going to be this just big lively event where there's all these different types of people. The poem is going to relate to the party because we're taking back our city to be part of our lives in the way that we want it to be. We try to homogenize all the bands together, all the different scenes and stuff like that. Like let's get people from this group of people. Let's get people from the this. Uh, like but we have our own culture here already. It's a really beautiful thing, and this is just really celebrating that. This is our city, and uh, we're just gonna basically ride around the walls. There's a giant party going on in the street right now. They call it the Art Murmur. It's uh, Oakland's Art Walk. There's actually cops down where they can see us right now when they start painting, which I'm nervous about. I love doing this because it's a, it's a challenge, you know? Like, you catch tags right side up all the time. But uh, to do it upside down is a whole other game. There were so many thousands of people there that my idea was just work straight through it because there's no way they're not going to notice me. The more people who witness a crime, the less likely someone is to report it and that's because everyone assumes someone else is doing it. Nah, if I, if I, never, if I never had to lit my cigarette and yawn before I smoked it, I would've never seen your boy up there. Boy's like a ninja, I don't even know how he got up there, man. I didn't take into account the business below was open and that the owner of the business was directly underneath me where I was dripping paint. Immediately under us, uh, taking stuff from the liquor store, putting it in the store space. Once in a while I, I would notice that someone noticed me and was staring at me and so I would hide for a while until I lost their attention 
and and they would leave. When people stare at you, it gets other people to stare at you. So one person looking at you would bring the attention of lots of people. Sometimes when you're painting a high profile wall, there's nowhere to hide or not time to run anywhere to hide. And so when people pass by, you just have to turn yourself into a, as non-human looking of an object as you can to try to blend into your surrounding environment. A lot of times those paintings would only take 20 to 30 minutes if you were working on it straight through the whole time and concentrating on it. But because you have to constantly be looking over your shoulders and because there are so many people and cars and different things passing by, you have to hide constantly and something that should take you 20 minutes ends up taking you four hours or two nights. Where you paint things definitely has a huge effect on the, the time it takes to do them. You're not the first to feel my wrath. It happens every time I pass. And for your sake, I hope you're not the last. Spread out my turmoil and label it my past. I don't know what it is to love. I do know what it is to need. I don't know what it is to trust. I do know what it is to you. There's only cold beneath this skin And if you find yourself all alone and down Consider yourself lucky that I've gone And if you find yourself all alone and down Consider yourself lucky that I've gone Born into law Tempered to adhere Mechanized rust, marking time, clinging toxic at concrete. This poem in its cage, each letter of fence, bleeding the sum of my conditioning to the border of yours. A son's wealth in a fortress. The weight of excess rests on fragile clouds, laughing at your pitiful subway fare. Glass shatters, descending shards pin skin to the bounty of dismantling. The city is ours. Okay. I literally teared up. I don't know if it came out. I teared up. It was so beautiful. It was overwhelming just to think that like something that I wrote went from being something in my head to being something on a piece of paper to being actually out in the world. It's just overwhelming to me. It's just touching that somebody would want to do that with the a poem I wrote. To have it like come out so beautifully is just Amazing. Oh my God, it's fucking awesome. I hope what people take away from this is being less afraid to act on things in their own lives. The people try to connect with people that are different from them and through that connection are less scared to interact with their world. We found a community and we came together as a family and that's what the last line of this poem represents. I want people to know that they can be themselves, that if they don't agree with the way things are going, that there's other people that don't agree with it. That, that doesn't mean that you're not right. The, the city is ours it means the environment is ours. It's like every city is ours. It's yours, and ours doesn't mean ours. It means yours too. You know, if you can get over your pride to do something new, the world is yours. That's what it is. The world is ours. All of it. From the inside of your head to the skyscrapers, to everything.